all right guys welcome back to the other video in this video i'm going to detect the water bodies from satellite imagery which is sentinel 2 imagery and in order to like detect the water bodies from satellite imagery i'm going to use the unit deep learning model and i'm going to use the google collab so let's get started all right so in order to detect the water bodies from satellite imagery which is sentinel 2 imagery the first step is to upload your data set into the google drive since i'm using the google collab platform that's why i'm uploading all my data set into the google drive and here you can see i have x train numpy file and y train which is the max file uh, corresponding to this x train and also i have the test file x test and then uh, i have corresponding y test uh, file and the uh, mosaic image x test dot tiff and y test dot tiff is the mosaic image of the max corresponding to this t file so yeah so there i i already uploaded uh, my all the data set inside dl and water bodies uh, folder and i'm going to use this data lies and utilize uh, the power of google collab to train my model and then predict the water bodies so the first thing is talking about data so there are like four bands rgb and nir band and then the pixel value is zero for the like uh, non water bodies uh, thing and then uh, pixel value one represent the uh, water body so i'll correct this notebook as well non water bodies and then water bodies okay so after that so the first step is to like uh, import the necessary packages so i'm importing few of the package globe numpy matplotlib for like plotting the uh, result and also i'm using this tensorflow uh, model input con con 2d like these all parameters are uh, useful for the model and next step is to like connect the google drive so in order to connect the google drive you need to run that cell and after that it will like uh, pop up with the uh, like uh, some kind of sign in option and after that uh, it will be automatically connected so you can verify whether your google drive is connected or not by the left panel over here in the uh, like files menu so if you refresh this uh, list then you you should be able to see the g drive option uh, so after that so since my data set is uh, inside my google drive and then uh, inside my drive and it's inside dl and water bodies folder that's why uh, i'm writing this as a child directory so simply run this cell and after that i'm going to like uh, load my uh, train and test images uh, with npy format so simply run this cell so it might take some time all right so it's run successfully after that you can see the like maximum and minimum value and the data type of your data the train file of course you can do the same thing for the test file in order to just to check the like uh, like the maximum and minimum value and see whether it's uh, like normalized data set or not if the values are between 0 and 1 uh, then it's normalized otherwise you need to like squeeze it to the 0 and 1 and after that simply you can test uh, whether your image and labels are match, matched with or not so simply uh, since I'm writing three index here that means it's the it's the YANIR band and uh, looks like this portion particularly over here this is the water body and over here also this is some kind of water body and if you are interested to see the like uh, rgb image then uh, you should provide colon three that means uh, take the first three bands and it will only take the rgb band and uh, it's quite i think it's dark here so yeah look at this image so this is the like imagery 
and then this is the corresponding max that means the uh, yellow part represent the water bodies and other background purple part represent the background okay so in the next step is to like develop the unit model so there are like lots of different kind of like unit models i mean based on their dense level and then based on the image resolution image uh, x and y width so there are like lots of like modified version of unit but for this particular video i want to use the very simplest version of unit which is like little bit two or two to three step depth and then uh, having size of 256 by 256 image this image does not represent the exact uh, unit model of what i am using but uh, yeah this is the like simple simplest version of unit and if you interested to like know about unit model there are lots of resources in the youtube or in the internet so make sure you like search and then get what's unit and uh, try to understand on your own since i am not going to like uh, discuss it again uh, in this particular video and after that so here in the <coughs> model part so i have x in input shape of sorry i need to change this 256 256 by 4 so that means uh my image x and width x and y width and height are 256 by 256 and the my uh, i have number of band is 4 nir and rgb band and after that there are like some convolution network and dropout which is useful for regularization that means um, it will protect the model from overfitting and then there is convolution max pooling layer and then uh, again this first part is encoder and then the second part is decoder at the end so we are using the uh, sigmoid model sigmoid equation function with the padding is same and then uh, we compile the model with the mean square error and then uh, our optimizer is adam optimizer and if i run this cell so it should like take the my updated version of input shape and then if you see the model uh, summary so this is the model summary and then it has only 409k parameters which is not that much huge uh, parameters okay this step is the like uh, most important step here so after that i need to like fit my model that means i need to train my model uh, based on my training data set which is train xx and train yy and also in the validation data set i need to like provide some kind of data set but uh, in this particular case i am just providing test xx and test yy value is my validation data set but in the real case scenario so you you should have the three set of data set train test and validation so instead of providing test set you need to provide the validation data set that means different set of data over here and then in the test set you you have like you have to provide the data set which model did not see while training and then the epochs number of epochs i am using 100 epochs for now and then batch size of 10 maybe i can change it to 8 because uh normally the batch size should be like uh, multiplication uh, square of 2 either 2 4 8 uh, 16 or <coughs> 32 64 some some kind of in that order and then bar was one that means it should not provide lots of information so yeah so i can run this so it says a distribution data set all right i just found the issue with the previous code so the previously i have installed the latest version of tensorflow that's why the error persist and then now i install the tensorflow with version of 2.12.0 and now my code is working fine it, it looks like it's training uh, my model so we can see the loss in val loss values over here 
so yeah so let's wait uh, till the 100 reports and then i'll show you the result in a minute I also want to give you one quick update over here in my model so previously my loss function was mean square error and then uh, using that uh, loss function I saw that my model loss and val loss value was not uh, decreased significantly and then it was uh, like on the constant value in all the epochs that's why i changed my loss function to the binary cross entropy which is the really good loss function the one really good uh, knowledge about uh, the deep learning model is like based on selection of your loss function you can significantly improve your accuracy of the model and of course instead of using this predefined like loss functions you can also use the weighted loss function or your custom loss function based on which the model might get more accurate results so yeah so let let's wait few times to just to like train my model and then after that i'll show you the result all right so my model training is successful but now i want to like plot my history loss and val loss function so if i run this cell it should like generate the <coughs> graph representing how my model is trained so looks like my model like loss function is continuously decreasing uh, which is good but when i check the val loss the uh, based on like test data set uh, my model was like learning till some point over here might be because uh, i think this is the lowest value uh, around 25 epochs and after that it start increasing that means uh, my model is over trained that means uh, i need to decrease the number of uh, epochs so in the later video i'll show you how to like uh, train it with uh, train it uh, with the good uh, amount of epochs and how to control the number of efforts and also how to increase the uh, accuracy but for for this video let's say uh, let's assume this model is doing well so but definitely this model is uh, should do the like predict the water bodies really well in the training data set but it won't work in the like other data set like the uh, like the unseen data set data set from other places so if i try to predict the my model accuracy so let's see how it shows yeah so it looks like uh it's like doing little bit little bit okay kind of job but it has lots of like errors so as i said in the test data set so this part is the water body and then it should be like connected it should be like the river structure but my model says uh, there is like no connection and then there is like spread water bodies and yeah that's the like limitation of of course the data as well as the model overfitting so yeah so but yeah if i try the same thing with the trend data set it should like work a relatively good job so let me try with the trend data set so train xx <clears throat> and then maybe train yy and if i run this again all right so with the like a test train data set so if i like predict uh the model prediction test on the train dot xx and then threshold of 0 0.5 and it it shows that it has like some kind of like similar pattern with my uh the training data set that means it's doing really good job detecting the water bodies in the training data set but not in the test data set that's the problem of like overfitting and in order to solve that overfitting issue you need to like mention the early stooping uh, function and then try to train it with the appropriate epochs number of epochs and also you can test with the different set of loss functions and also you can use the data augmentation technique 
all right in the next video i'll show you how to improve the modal accuracy and how to train it in the most appropriate number of reports so in that way you can like eliminate the uh, overfitting issue and then uh, your model will predict uh, relatively uh, better accuracy relatively more accurately so yeah i'll see you in the next